All right, I'm going to try to get through this real quickly. Um, I'm showing you here a picture of a flame, and I'm going to make these correlations in a second um, to, you know, uh, the inner man in Christ, so on and so forth. Right now, I'm going to read Ezekiel, uh, starting from verse 15, and I'll correlate all this in. Now, as I beheld the living creatures, behold, one will upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces. One will upon us on the earth, and then these are the four faces. All right? And just bear with me, okay? Um, the appearance of the wheels and their work was unlike to the color of beryl. Beryl has got to be as the color of fire, okay? And right now we have a hurricane going on uh, in the earth. And you have to forgive me. I, for, I forget, you know, if it's in Florida or one of the South American countries. But there's a hurricane beryl there's a threat of right now. And, we, you know, just to show you how all of these things and how scripture is relevant and correlates with things that's going on right now. But you have a a, a creature with, with four faces similar unto its one, uh, its one face. And it's upon the horizon of the earth. Okay. So when we talk about its faces like barrel and it, and it you know, shoots out fire. The Bible says um, that... He will make his ministers as a flame of fire. Okay. And we talk about the will of a man. And the light of a man is hit with Christ. Right. We could potentially be talking about. You know. Uh, unidentified flying objects. Alright. Because he says the earth is his footstool. So for those who are his witnesses. And those who are his believers. You know. It could be possible. That they are guarded. Okay, by a UFO, as the tree of life is guarded by the by uh, a UFO. All right, a cherubim. All right. So, um, you know, this is talking about that the work of this round, large thing, right, had the appearance of wheels, so we know that it was circular. And their work was like unto the color of beryl, and they they four had one likeness. And their appearance and their work was as it were a will in the middle of a will. So you got a will in the middle of a will when we think about if you were going to draw a flame. Alright? And the wings touching each other and each one had two. So there's also one on this side, one on this side, and one on this side. The same look. Alright? You get the going upon the horizon of the earth it would appear as an octopus or a jellyfish you understand what i'm saying because as above so below the reflection of the barrel upon the earth at the horizon all right would make the flame with the will of light look like the number eight all right um the aura of this flame you know what i'm saying or of these wheels these angels all right the unification of the heavens and the earth creates fellowship, all right? And the light of a man is the life of a man and his testimony that correlates with the gospel, all right? Even though that he is not as perfect as Christ, as, as without sin, but his covering and the way he conducts his life will reflect not his personal life but reflect the life of jesus christ and this is how you know this individual is a true follower take for instance i got kicked out of two gyms you know i uh i didn't do anything wrong i'm basically stuck in this house i didn't do anything wrong um i got taken off the internet for a year didn't do anything wrong didn't do anything offensive was just talking about the word of god uh and i was just doing the ten commandments i was chill then but you know, my freedom of speech was taken. You know, even inmates have a right to go to the gym and exercise. You know what I'm saying? But I got kicked out, you know. And it says in scripture that you'll be hated by all manner of man's sake um, for, for, for uh, man, all manner of man for Christ's namesake. That means that 
you are walking with the type of character that is, is as a litmus test for other men to judge and dictate their own actions in reflection instead of being as a beast. All right? You're walking and you're showing the fruits of Christ. And your inner man and your outer man line up so that what you see is what you get. There's no guile in your step. And you move with the boldness of a lion. All right? And you carry the gospel. All right? Of Christ. All right? This is what it's talking about. You're not thwarted by any manner of, of information or news that comes to you. You don't, you're not a busybody. You're not about gossip. You know, you have certain morals and ethics. You know what I'm saying? Um, this will be, this is as a man that is of Christ. All right? The innermost flame um, of, a, of a flame in this structure, you see the innermost here, okay, is this is what you would consider Christ, okay? What Christ did on his cross, uh, comprised of all light and no darkness in him, okay? This is the innermost man in the inner court, which pertains to the heart, which weighs your morals and ethics, you know, um, your intentions of an individual, all right? And, you know, you got the middle court and you got the outer courts, you know, which deal with your existential life, where there's weeping and welling, um, and gnashing of teeth in the world you engage in, but the life, your inner life and your heart, you know what I'm saying? You have peace. You know what I'm saying? Even despite, you know, all the things that's happening in the world and, and despite your concerns and your worries, you don't have it that bad because you have Christ. You have spiritual peace that we get through Christ, what comes at the core of the individual. All right. So that is as being in the world, but not of the world, because God concerns over the inner man, as he did with Cain and Abel. He asked Cain, why hast thou our continents fallen, speaking of his heart? And your heart, out of all issues, flows, the, the, out of your heart flows issues of the life. So you know that this flame correlates with your heart chakra, which is your will, okay? Your, 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 um, your, your angel, your protection, your spiritual protection creates that will or that angel that is uh, 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 comprised of, of, of many eyes. All right. So this this correlates with the type of life that that a man lives, you know, um, um, so. If God is comprised of light and there's no darkness in him, all right, the difference between men is 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 the good son which does the will of his father, all right, and Luciferians who do their own will. This is the difference between man, all right. Christ came and he said he will do his father's will. He did not say he would do his own will, all right. And this is the difference between men and it's subtle, all right? Um, angels that will alight that spiritual protection is the gospel, the word that was sent through God's son, Christ, all right? So his ministers are as angels. We have liberty in Christ and we have the light of the life of the gospel and what have you. We have spiritual protection and we know how to walk and conduct ourselves in this world. And we're sanctified and we age like wine. All right. There's two things with this Fibonacci here. This angel, which looks like a crab, baby. You can either spiral up or you can spiral down, which means you can either spiral in or you could spiral out. You could become more external of a man, which would make you more bestial. Or you could be more of an internal type of man. Who lives from your core that has no guile. You see, when you have Christ at the core, you know what I'm saying? Innermost part of that flame. Then the old man becomes new. And the new man grows better or ages like wine. Okay? This is spiritual fruit. Alright? One can either spiral up or they can spiral down. And to spiral up, alright, means having... Understanding and knowing yourself and 
walking in a place of peace where you do not need to judge others and you spiritually grow from this place all right i believe that the inner man is christ and then christ it says that the light put on flesh and died for mankind's sake and therefore the bridge between christ and man all right will correlate ray as a ray of light or a ray of hope okay because a man is covered by Christ's life. But a man who is self-willed is Lucifer. Alright? And Lucifer correlates with the spirit of fallen mankind, which was covered by Christ. Alright? Therefore, I believe that the electric body, or the blue, represents Lucifer. Alright? And Lucifer represents the self, which is as your central electric nervous system that communicates impulses and desires. And these temptations can be subtle. Consider your circumstances and your lifestyle, so on and so forth. Therefore, having Christ at your core and knowing thyself, then you walk with a code of morals and ethics. Right? And this will create a light that you do not miss your step in this world of imbalanced circumstances. And you keep your head in peace about you, even though there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth on the outside. And this flame is as a Fibonacci, and the Fibonacci spiral is like a rose, and that rose creates a flower of light. The 4D matrix in which a man lives and he dies 11, every 11 months, every cell on his body is replaced, making him resurrected. And the world and the choices that he makes from his heart or from his flesh and this is the subtle difference between the two individuals that live in this world one is in Christ's body and one has a likeness but denies the power of and this is the difference between a serpent that strikes the hill and a hill that crushes the head the, do, the two different men that walk on the earth and I believe that around 2013, when CERN was built, that the atom was collided and the internal man's world was collided with the external man's world and the test began. The difference between individuals who are self-willed and who are of God's will will be decided in how they walk. Peace and blessings be with all. I'm going to finish these verses out of Ezekiel. The appearance of the wheels and their work was like unto the color of beryl. They had four. They four had one likeness. And their appearance and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. When they went, they went upon their four sides. And they turned not when they went. As for their rings, they were so high that they were dreadful. And their rings were full of eyes round about them full. And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. Whithersoever the spirit was to go, they went. Till there was their spirit to go. And the wheels were lifted up over against them, for the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. The spirit, I repeat, of the living creature was in the wheels, the spirit of man. That's a flame of fire. A UFO. And the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creatures was as the color of terrible crystal stretched forth over their heads above. And under the firmament were the wings straight, and one towards the other. Every one had two, which covered on the side, and every one had two, which covered on that side, their bodies. And when they went, I heard the noise of their wings like the noise of great waters, as the voice of the Almighty, the voice of speech, as the noise of an host. When they stood, they let down their wings, and there was a voice from the firmament that was over their heads when they stood and had let down their wings. This is talking about Ezekiel Witness, an anti-gravitational device. In other words, what we call as a UFO that was as a flame of fire or barrel, which currently we have a situation that's happening on the East Coast, and name that they named the hurricane was called Barrel, and this was known as 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 the sound of God. 
all right or as many winds you know this could be the point in time where the four angels are sealing the earth and and sealing you know the foreheads of their servants and what have you. and this could be the warning okay but when it talks about the wings and the, the it neither turned or veered but when it went up it went straight up it's talking about anti uh, gravitational technology all right and which i assume you know the <clears throat> sun has an internal a a a, a, a twister or a horizontal a horizontal potentially twister or maybe not horizontal slightly horizontal twister inside the center of the sun and which that wormhole that is within the sun causes propulsion and that wormhole will represent you know um um you know the the equal or opposite reaction in which there are two suns that overlap one another which is the black sun and the sun we see in the sky all right and which there is a juxtaposition between the propulsion and the so-called saying that no light escapes a black hole also. Man, that was a mouthful to say, man. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Pause. But I believe that, you know, this is talking about, you know, the propulsion of the sun is if, if one could figure out what the sun is and how it propulses, they could also figure out how to uh, recreate uh, anti-gravitational uh, 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 chariots, which are UFOs, okay? Which are UFOs, all right? Um, that's what I believe. And, um, yeah, that's what he's seeing. He's seeing a UFO at the horizon of Earth, and, it, you know, it had to be huge, and, you know, the lights of the UFO was re was reflected on the earth, okay? And it sounded like winds, and, and the night sky was like terrible crystals on top of it, probably some type of futuristic type of metal or whatever, all right? But like I said, in Hyperia, we had a wealth of these, and, you know, some of my brothers and sisters, a lot of them, they got on UFOs, and some of them are dragons, and some of them are gray aliens, okay? We have other types of creatures, too. Okay, we also have snakes, you know, we have different creatures that enter in on the other side, but all the minions enter in on the other side. And we we jumped in down by parachute. I know because I forgot mine when I jumped. Okay, and we came into a, a, a square, which was a dimension. But the greys, the dragons and the other brothers and sisters, which were little kids, they entered into Hyperia. Uh, and their UFOs and what have you. And this is what Ezekiel seen that God was bringing a reminder to remind us who we were and where we came from and, 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 and what was going on, you know. Um, with that being said, you know, when you have Christ that puts on flesh, you know what I'm saying? You have the flesh that has the black crown, which is, you know what I'm saying, under bondage in Egypt. And then you have the spirit, which is completely free. So, I truly believe that Ray is Jesus Christ, all right, and comprise a complete light. But because he has to come through the filter of our flesh, um, the impulses of our brain, our evil genius, so on and so forth, and what have you, you know, we have a filtration much like a light, uh, much like a lampshade, you know, over that light. And the juxtaposition between the light and the dark creates the checkerboard, and that is the perception. One lens on one side of your eyes is red, the other side is blue, creating <laughs> Democrat and conservative. And this creates the perspective from the perception of different views that create society in a depth of field internally and externally. Also, depending on the flame and how someone goes about their business, <laughs> either on their belly or according to their mind with morals and ethics and Christ's law most definite put first will change the ways and how we come together in this society and the government government of our mind which is Roman all right and our candle is as a flame of fire which come from a heart and in our heart the inner temple surrounded by complete vast darkness 
but on his faces shine barrel at the horizon. These angels or these lights contain knowledges and wisdom to guide us. Peace and blessings be with all.